And look at this perfect, perfect synchrony. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I can't, guys. It's so much and it's just constant. Quick, it's crying. Age it up, quick. So yeah, this is our next air little clem. Hey, my little peaches. Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are feeling good and feeling peachy today because, I mean, look right now. It's so pretty. All I hear is falling rain. Wow, relaxing vibe. So beautiful, so gorgeous. This is just such a calm, relaxing experience. Do you guys not think? Are you meditating? Are you doing yoga? It has that kind of energy about it. The smoke is coming out the chimney. It, everything just seems so beautiful, so calm, and so relaxing. However, it's not gonna stay that way because, oh, what's that? It's already begun. It has already begun. We have triplets triplets to take care of and not one baby not two babies but three babies to try and take care of these are the next gen in our challenge we have a baby tyson who i think is here or oh, tyler tyler we've got a tyler i'm actually recording this before seeing your guys reaction to the name so tyler's name may change we've also got ourselves a clementine baby clem who is actually the next heir of this challenge and we've got ourselves a little oh my gosh what's your name camille camille Clementine and Tyler. CTC. Don't know if that means anything. Hopefully, it isn't the name of like a, some disease or something. I don't know. But they are the next generation. They are our babies. They are going to be the focus of today's episode because guess what? Looking after one baby is pretty hard. Two babies is twice the work. Three babies is three times as hard. We're already on parent and level three just because of how difficult this is. And yeah, tough times ahead of us trying to look after the babies. Although honestly, Molly, one absolute queen, has this down because has managed to just sell all the babies. And oh my gosh, as if looking after three babies wasn't bad enough, there is the ghost of Papa barking at me. Still hates the fire, even in death. Even in death. And Molly, bless it. You, you dealt with it last time. I'll deal with it this time. Lila will deal with this one. We got ourselves a stinky nappy. Let's go ahead and change that. So yeah, I will be doing a lot of this in today's episode because I honestly cannot bear the sound of the babies crying in this game. Oh, honestly, kind of harsh, but even in real life, I'm not about that life. I don't like the sound of screeching children, but this is going to be my life for this episode. So I'm going to have to get used to it because we've got triplets to look after. So my babies stay babies in the sim games for like a day or two because honestly, who wants an object for too long? Not me, but we will be aging them up into toddlers during today's episode. So if you guys are looking forward to that, please don't forget to Give this video some love give it a little like and uh, maybe share it with a friend that you think might enjoy the series if this series has given you any smiles and happy vibes then maybe share it with a friend so that you can give some happy vibes and smiles to them as well comment below what you think of their toddlers appearance once we age them up but we're not quite there yet we are not quite there yet we've still got a little bit of living to do with this this just lovely lovely sound of screaming babies also i don't know if you guys can hear but building work as well going on amongst and all around me so <laughs> my ears are in for a treat today also one last thing i wanted to double check is level eight and six skills i don't know if i have that because i think i've been counting skills that i've maxed out that are oh my gosh molly you're so tired you've slept at the end of the bed where papa used to sleep very very baby activity but please 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 get into bed girl stop napping it's not gonna help you in the long run just get proper sleep whilst you can okay uh yeah i think i've been thinking about her skills hitting level five but i need to actually get is it six skills to level eight master and two of the skills to achieve at least level six so we've got charisma we've got gourmet cooking because that's three max skills so we've got gourmet cooking we've got guitar we've got logic we've got piano and we've got singing. Okay, yeah, we've done that. I've literally done everything that I... Oh, are we not on family leave? Why am I being called to work? Hello, hello, hello. Molly, wake up and take family leave right now. We've done everything that we need to do for Lila. This was only 18 episodes. It's actually one of my shorter, not so buried generations. But once I age up Clem in today's episode, I'm going to officially begin the orange part of the not so very challenge so you're also meant to have work in six hours i'm gonna take family leave for you as well there is no way you can leave one person with three babies it's just not fair i'm also it's kind of fitting that molly switched to scrubs even though she's not going to work because i just feel like there's gonna be a lot of fluids poops six dribbles 
Wheeze the lot. Babies are, they just produce a lot of things that ideally you wouldn't want on your person. Oh, jeez. Although these two actually are just smiling away. Look at them. Look. Okay, I jinxed it. I fully asked for that. Literally, I could not have asked for that more if I'd have tried. And one thing I actually can't do is Lila can't breastfeed Molly's babies and Molly can't breastfeed Lila babies. I was kind of thinking about this. I was always thinking like, you know, if you had like mixed triplets with your partner, you probably would breastfeed them all. But then I'm like, do you actually only get the benefits of breastfeeding if it's your like genetic baby? Because you're passing on like a bunch of antibodies and that kind of thing. If anyone knows the answer to that, if anyone is brainier than me knows the answer to that, please let me know in the comments below because I actually think it's quite an interesting question. And I kind of want to know the answers. What tends to happen in these relationships? Please let me know. I'm very intrigued. And honestly, even if I didn't have more skills up all the way, parenting when you've got three kids is going to go up pretty quickly. We're already on parenting level four. I can now give timeouts and I will get more information about how my advice will impact a child's development. How does it impact them when they're there crying hungry and you are dancing? Dancing on top of them. How does that impact them, Lila, huh? Huh? The other kind of skill I thought would be nice to get her into just because she's a bit of a skill buff, isn't she? Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to get time for... Mind you, I could do toddler onesies. Um, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. I think it would be really cute to have a little knitting skill going on at the side here. Just very cute vibes. Especially if Molly's like doing baking, then maybe Lila... Oh, I need to put it in my inventory, don't I? I like it out. I feel sad that I can't have it out. I wish you could still knit, even if it's not in your inventory. Just makes me very sad. But we're going to practice knitting because I think it's pretty cute and it's also a good way just to keep an eye on the babies having a little knit at the side of them. I thought that was kind of adorable. We've also got loads of knit stuff in the house. So it kind of makes sense that one of us would have to knit. Molly is going to keep doing her baking. I want to do some more thank you baking. So we're going to bake some bread. Very cute. I feel like the house is going to smell so, so good. We've also got baby birth certificates. So let's get a few of those on the wall. Wait, where's the third one? You guys should have three. One, two, and then Lila doesn't have one. What? Where's the extra birth certificate? Okay, now I just feel like I'm taunting one of the kids. I don't think Clem has hers. <gasps> and Ash would like to come over and hang out. Bless her, giving us a day to get settled with our babies, then being like, is it okay if I come over? Of course it is, Ash. Get your butt over here. Come meet your grandbabies. I mean, you already have some grandbabies through Celia, um, but now you've got more grandbabies, so come and enjoy. We've got freshly baked bread as well, although I feel like Ash would be like, yeah, I don't. No more, no more things baked by Molly, please. <laughs> She's getting better, okay? I promise. Although those blueberry bagels were a bit of a disaster, weren't they? Let's just pop them in there. Oh, and the minute I stand up to go say hello to Ash. Of course, one of the babies begins its beautiful little screech. I might as well show her them. Show off to you, Ash. Oh, Molly's on it. I feel like like they're both desperate to have all the time with the baby. So like, no, I'll be the one that does it. I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll get it. But luckily there's enough to go around. There is a higher than one human to... Oh, they're all humans. <laughs> Mother to baby ratio in this household. This is probably why I call babies it so much if I don't even class them as being human. But okay. And oh, another one has started. Another one started. They all kind of space out a little bit. They're staggered which is very helpful. Okay, Molly's had enough. She's like, yeah, you can definitely deal with this one, please, Lila. Oh, and look at Ash, absolutely. Going full grandma bear mode. Like, mm, they're so baby and cute. Ash, actually, Ash has level 10 parenting. So, oh my gosh, you know what? You know what? You know what? Ash, 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 have some keys. Wait, don't you dare leave. Ash, don't leave us, please, we need you. I'm like, mom, you can't leave me. These babies are so hard. Have a key whenever you want to come around and help. Just pop over. No questions asked. Please just come and help me with all these babies. I need the help. I need the help so badly. Level 10 parent. And she can do... Oh my gosh, they're all crying. They're all crying. They're all crying. She can do the super parenting thing, can't she? Ash, please help me. Please help me. Oh, and she is as well. She is as well. <gasps> Thank you, mom. This is why you need... If your mom's good with babies and is... Oh my gosh, don't just leave her though. <laughs> at least try... At least try and help. Oh my gosh, Lila, you've still got to try and help. Come on. She's thinking of a trash can because she's like, well, my daughter is trash at this. Oh, there is a full crying symphony going on in here. You can't escape it. You cannot escape it. Oh, and Ash is helping. She's like, if you help, then I will help. But I'm not doing it all. These are your babies. Okay, they're awake, but they're quiet. Can you go to sleep? <laughs> can you just... Do a little stuff. What do you what do you say? Little sleepy? With those big beautiful brown eyes looking up at me? Go sleepy? 
Your sister's sleeping. Do what your sister does. Do a sleep. No? Okay, no. And what happened to the bread? Where is the bread gone? <gasps> oh, bread! Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Look at it. it was little... Oh, that's so adorable. I love that. And the quality is excellent. Molly's getting better at baking. They said it couldn't be done. Oh, and this is the first time I've ever seen them do this. They've gone and like sat around the fire instead of sitting around the table. Oh, I'll turn the fire on. This is going to be so cozy. Love this. Oh, they can't reach the fire. Okay. Well, still, the cozy energy is definitely there. Love that. A little home-baked bread in our nice cozy house. Does it get any better than that? And Molly just finished painting a masterpiece. <gasps> and it's of Lila doing her little writing of songs. That's so cute. I love that. And when it's 5 p.m., but you already want to go to sleep. <laughs> It's time for a disco nap. Oh, and we've done a little role reversal. Now these two are sleeping oh so beautifully and calmly and babyishly. And instead Clem is just waiting. Look at those eyes. Those eyes are the eyes waiting for chaos. Waiting for chaos. You've actually got quite a chaotic life ahead of you. So the fact that you already have chaos running through your veins is honestly just right on par for the way your life is gonna go. Please just try and keep the, the cries down for a bit because Lila's getting a bit of sleep and Clem is working on a gift for Lila. Oh, and no, you couldn't. You could. Oh no, it's a different. It's one of the other babies. Okay. Ash, please never leave. Please never leave. <laughs> Stay here and help us. I need the help. Mom, don't leave me. It's all three. They're all awake. They're all awake. It's the full whammy, guys. It's the full whammy. <gasps> and look at this perfect, perfect synchrony of the feeding of the babies. No, no, no. Both using the bottle as well. I've been clicking the breastfeed option, but they're both using bottles now. Maybe just it's easier so that they can all feed all three of the babies and not have to be like, oh, it's... Like, it's Clem, so you've got to do it, Lila, and vice versa. Actually makes a lot of sense. Okay, I like that. And just when I get back into my knitting, you just had to, didn't you? You just had to get the little lungs working again. Lila's like me. She likes the aesthetic of, like, caring for babies. I've been sat at the side knitting while the babies are all quiet. But the reality is a little bit of a different story, isn't it? When they're just crying and you actually can't sit down and do your knitting project because they won't stop crying. That's a different story right there. Oh my gosh, and the minute, the minute your head touches the pillow, they are straight off again. God forbid I'd get a night's sleep. Eh, hey, God forbid, children. As soon as that pop-up is comes up, I, <laughs> I almost choked, um, but wow, did I predict the future? I was like, as soon as that pop-up comes up, I'ma age them up into children, and then it came up at 11 p.m. at night. Okay, maybe we'll do a little birthday for them tomorrow. I think that makes sense. Molly can bake a cake, uh, Lila can bake a meal, we'll have some family round. That is how we'll do things. Oh, I literally Molly just got into bed. Come on. And oh my gosh, she wants to try. She wanted to try for a baby with Molly then. Like, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. No more. Three is already three times more than what we were originally expecting. <gasps> Janet Pancakes has aged up. Janet Pancakes is actually adorable. Does anybody else start saying aged up in real life, by the way? I start saying, like, aged up when referring to human beings quite a lot recently, which is a bit concerning. And we're back. We're back again with the babies. Three times tonight we've had to wake up. Three times. And just try and get another two hours. Just even just two hours. If you got leave again today, no, you're not going to work in four hours. No sorry. Family leave. Oh my gosh. Four times in one night. Four times in one night we've had to... You know what? Forget it. We'll just get up. We'll just get up. That's what the children want. So that's what the children will get. And gone are the days of lobster tortellini for breakfast. It's animal crackers now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I can't, guys. I literally can't. I literally can't. It's so much. And it's just constant. I can't remember the last time they showered or anything. Oh! <gasps> And Molly's reached level 10 of the cooking skill as well. I'm so hungry. Okay, you made yourself mac and cheese for breakfast, which honestly, I respect so much. I love that. After you've had the- Oh my gosh, the baby's gone. Oh, 
You know I said that they were staggered and it was all perfect? No, it's all a wreck now. I don't know what order they're in anymore. It's all just become really chaotic and it's a lot harder. And I want to make sure they're all getting loads of social interaction as well so that they grow up and they're like all friends with the moms. But oh, it's a lot guys, it's a lot. We're earning good money from our royalties now though. So that's nice. <gasps> Clem just became good friends with Lila. Okay, perfect. Wait, it's not in the rules that I can't become friends with my children, right? I don't feel like it's in the rules for this one. Wait, what you... She's going in the bath without even telling me. She just was like, I'm just gonna sit in the bath and drink some water just for a second. Just a quick dip. That's all I get time for. But we are very happy about the babies. She is, they are happy. It's tough work, but they are happy. I'm kind of over again the sadness that they're feeling. They are really happy. Hey, Lila, it's Ty. Do you want to hang out tonight? Actually, I'm gonna invite you over. We're gonna pay back the loan. And I want you to be here for when they age up as well. I'm gonna brush my teeth. How exciting. Actually getting a chance to brush my teeth. Oh! <gasps> Oh, um, Molly just finished painting another masterpiece and she painted a picture of Ash for Lila because I thought that would be quite cute. So I'm going to pop that in my inventory. Oh, wait, I was going to do a nice romantic moment for my wife, but Tyler said no. So back in I go. Oh, jeez. That noise, that noise is, it's actually just killing me. Oh my gosh, all three. All three. The holy trifecta. They're all crying. Okay, in a moment of kindness, right. Uh, quietness. And kindness, I guess. I am gonna give a romantic gift. Oh, my painting. I'm gonna give her the painting of um, Ash as like a romantic gift. Oh, and Celia is here. How are you knocking at this side of the door? <laughs> oh, how is that occurring? That's very confusing. But Celia's here, which is so nice because I want to ask her about her life and if she's like still single and stuff. See what's going on in the life of Celia. And thank you so much for my painting. That's such a nice gift. Look at this very flirty. Feeling the love from getting a romantic gift. Where can we put a nice picture of Ash? It's not really a bathroom piece, is it? We can put it in here. There we go. And that noise again. It hath returned. Molly, do you mind dealing with them for one sec while I go and say hello to Celia? Oh, Celia's having a little boogie in her strawberry dress. I am going to ask if uh, Celia is seeing anyone. Kind of interested to know. Can I just do like a little check-in on her as well? See, see what's going on in her life. Celia is single. Okay. Maybe she's enjoying being single though. There's no pressure. You don't have to be in a relationship at all. As long as she's happy. I'm happy. And I genuinely think she seems really happy. And look, I can also, with pregnancy and family, express relief over birth gone well. That's part of the Wee Wee Wellness mod. So that's cute. I still get like a few actions from it, which is nice. But that's like the last thing I can really do, I guess. I can ask if put on baby weight. I don't know how the other person reacts if you do that. I'm kind of interested to tell. Okay, they don't get like a sad emotion around it, which I thought they might. But yeah, since I've used that mod for this and it does slow down my interaction wheel a little bit, I will probably take it out. But I will also probably add it again if I was to ever need it for the because I, I really like the way it handles pregnancy so I'll probably reinstall it once the kids get like older and stuff speaking of kids there they go again crying crying away I'm gonna start gifting everyone my awful knitting projects so here is a pink heart for you Celia and I'm gonna gift Molly the panda heart <laughs> everyone gets terrible heart enjoy oh my game has a really weird but oh I was meant to age up the kids today and I totally forgot <laughs> My game has a really weird bug where people knock from the door from the inside and then I invite them in and they go out onto the porch. Do not know why that is. Uh, we'll do the aging up on Thursday then. They might do it before then, which would be a bit annoying because I wanted to do a whole thing. But then the babies cried all day and it meant I couldn't get anything done. But Brenton is here as well. Everyone's come around to see the babies, which is really nice. Ash, Celia and Brenton have all come around now in the space of 24 hours. And I've knitted a rug. A yellow rug, which I thought would be kind of a cute addition. I know there's a rug there already, but this is a home knitted rug. Even better. And let's give all the babies a cuddle before sleep. Cuddle for you, cuddle for you, and a cuddle for you. Molly, bless. You can't sleep there. You're gonna get such a bad night's sleep. Come and sleep in your proper bed. When oh, I just realized Brenton is still here, the babies are crying and he's just stood there like, huh, babies. I'll do this, but I'm not, I'm not gonna touch them. Lila, come start your child. And okay, it's officially their birthdays today. 
So this is, oh my gosh, you're not gonna let me sleep. You're just not gonna let me sleep, are you? It's officially their birthdays today. So this has actually worked out quite well. And if we can just get a bit more sleep tonight, then I can do a proper birthday for them. If you wake me up four times again tonight though, probably not. Oh, they let me sleep till nearly 4 a.m. You know what? That actually genuinely not that bad. Not that bad at all. And Lila's kind of had enough, wants to get back to work. She's like, this was all fun for like a day, but I'm kind of over it now. I can't wait to age them up. I just cannot wait to age them up. Oh, and the fridge is broken. Of course it is. Why would it not be broken? Why would the fridge not be broken? We're gonna do a breakfast based aging up session. Well, slams that. Why don't you bake us some peanut butter cookies and I will serve a grand breakfast and that's the way we'll do things. Oh, but of course not up until the babies are all perfectly wonderfully happy. Don't worry about us and our sleep and our food and our showers. It's all about the babies. Okay, so here are the little cookies that Molly has baked. She's just decorating them. Just ignore that crying baby. It'll, it'll sort itself out. It's totally fine. You've got to let them cry out sometimes, you know, it, it, it toughens them up. Toughens them up a little bit. They look great. See, Molly's off to go deal with it now. It was only crying for like two minutes. It's fine. It's totally fine. I am very tense. Really bad work withdrawals. We're on family leave again. Yay. I'm gonna go ahead and invite around the whole gang. So we've got Ty and Di and Celia and Vernon and Ash and Neil. Wait, where's Brenton? Why can't I invite Brenton around? Is he already here? Brenton must be already here. I'm just gonna invite Neil. Like, he's earned it at this point. And oh my gosh, she's so stressed. She's just so, so stressed. Oh yeah, let's call everyone to the meal. Archer was like, yeah, I'll help you out, babes. It is a bit of a wrecking here. I've got you, I've got you. Everyone coming and seeing the little babies who, oh, when we've got company, suddenly you're all like, yes, we're the most perfect babies. We would never do cry. We're so good. We don't wake up four, four or five times every night and screech at the top of our lungs. We're so good. Lion babies, lion babies. But we've made this nice breakfast for everyone. It's excellent quality. I may be sleep deprived and stressed out of my mind. But that does not mean I don't make a good quality meal, okay? And it's a nice chance to catch up with everyone. I wanna pay Ty back. We've got Ty and Dai here. I've uninstalled that mod because my wheel was going so slow. Otherwise we would do a nice little dance for everyone as well. I wanna pay you back the loan if I've not already done that. Repay loan, there we go. Definitely don't wanna not do that because honestly, this man has done so much for us. Like absolute hero. So let's just nip outside. Oh, where am I? I was meant to just nip outside and do it. Come outside. So it's like a little bit, you know, you are giving him a big chunk of money being like, thank you so much for everything. There was no way I wasn't going to pay you this back. So here, have your 2000 pounds. It's not letting me do it. I got to pay him back game. Please don't do this to me. Oh, and of course they begin now just when I'm trying to do something pretty major. <gasps> And there we go. Thanks, Lila. I paid it back. I paid him the money back, so that's great. I did not want him to think that we were ever taking advantage, so we've paid the money back. Brenton, like, why are you not here? Want to see this new Simstagram meme I found? I thought it was pretty funny. Uh, lol, genius. Why? Come round here. It won't let me invite him round. I don't know what's going on with Brenton, but I can't invite him to the house, which sucks, because... I want to tease the life out of him. But Surin and Celia are checking out the little Babla Ruse, which are making far too much noise for a dinner party, let's face it. Oh, it's their birthday. <gasps> oh my gosh, I can age them. Oh my gosh, I can age them up. Okay, we've got to do it in order. We've got to do it in order. So let's do, um, oh my gosh, the noise. Let's do Ty first. Oh my gosh, Ty coming in and helping out. Hates children, but not above giving them a little rock when they're feeling a little bit grumpy. Love that. Okay, there we go. So, oh, and Ty sent Ty a gift. The double tie. I'm gonna just see what we get for Ty. Independent. Okay, nice. So Tyler is aged up. Then next is Camille. So let's age up Camille next. What can you do? It's literally right in front of you. How come you can rock the baby, but you can't age it up? Age it up, please free me from this torture. For whatever reason, she can't age... Okay, what about if I put it on the bed? Or maybe on this chair? You've got to be able to reach then. Can you do it now? Okay, now we can. Oh, there we go. So... Camille also aging up from her chair position. Camille is gonna have the fussy tray. Tiny troublemakers who love to cry cause trouble and throw fits. However, give me a hot sec because I actually think fussy suits orange the most, especially because our traits are gonna be evil, self-assured and glutton. And our aspiration is gonna be public enemy. So I actually think I'm gonna roll again. We've already had independent. Silly. 
Please don't get the walking glitch. Very cute though. Goofy and curious, these toddlers have to tell jokes and get playful. They earn the imaginations to go slightly faster. Love that. So there we go. There is Camille. And that leaves. Oh my gosh, Lila is not having a good and not having a good time. Uh, Lila is definitely not very, very tense. And for whatever reason, I'm getting the I can't reach the baby bug with Clem as well. So Clem is also going to be aged up on a chair. In fact, I can get rid of this now, can't I? Quick, it's crying. Age it up. Age it up quick. What are you talking about? It's right there. It's right there. Okay, there we go. There we go. <sighs> Final baby gift. We're getting so many presents for the kids, by the way. Everyone is sending presents for the kids. And you're going to get fussy. Fussy, fussy, fussy. Being noticed makes them happy and helps them overcome negative moodlets. But they are troublemakers who love to cry, cause trouble, and throw fits, which I think is pretty perfect for Orange Gen. So... Everyone is aged up. I think it's time to check them out in cuss and then we can apply it some CC. Okay, so I'm noticing straight away that these guys are twins, but Tyler has ended up with a different like skin tone. I'm just gonna take off skin details and makeup. But I think it's pretty important that Molly's skin tone like get some representation in the Babala Ruse. So Molly's skin tone is here. Camille's is here, which, you know, I think makes sense because we've got like Ty was had slightly light skin tone than Molly. Yeah, Ty. So with Tyler, okay, this is not a good naming combination, is it? Because I'm getting confused. Tyler's ended up quite a lot lighter. So I think I may go. I don't know why I've lost my bar at the top there. <gasps> that must be since the last update. Ah, uh, I think I need to update UI cheats. Because what I would, was going to do is whatever skin tone we landed on, I was going to maybe see what it would look like on the darkest setting. And then I thought that would, like, we'd at least get to see that chance. But this, this looks pretty bugged to me. So what I'm going to do instead, nip out of the game real quick. Update my UI cheats, which usually is what causes this. And see if we can get that slider back. It's still bugged. What? Oh. Are they like custom skin tones? They didn't used to be because I switched Molly specifically from a custom one just to make sure like the genetics passed on okay. Oh, so I must accidentally still have like Molly on a custom one. Oh, that sucks. Uh, okay, so this is Molly's, but custom's down here. I don't get what's going on with these ones, but this was the original skin tone. This is very similar, actually better because it's got more like highlight options. So I'm going to pop the kids onto this one because then I get the slider option again. And since Tyler was born with a slightly different tone to his sister, I will use the same skin tone, but I'll bring it up the slider a little bit. And then I'm worried that that also means Clem might not... Was it Tyler that had the custom skin? I don't know, I don't know. So with Clem, yeah, Clem's landed on one of these ones as well. Now, obviously Clem's skin tone is gonna be different to her other two siblings. And Lila's literally isn't even on there. Lila, what skin do you even have? I don't know, babes, I don't know. I think the skin tone that we've ended up with is actually like pretty accurate, but I don't want any with these little thing at the top because I'm just worried that it means the genetics aren't going to pass on. So I'm going to find an equivalent, which I think maybe like here would be a good equivalent. Kind of like there. I think I'm going to go for that. And then the eye color will actually, it's going to be intense. But the way I always do it is the eye color carries on from the gen before. So Ash obviously had Saffron's yellow eyes and then Lila has Ash's gray eyes. And so Clem will have Lila's purpleness or lilacness. But what I'm going to do is because I feel like they're very intense. I'm going to see if I've got any here which have that like lilac-esque look, but with a bit less intensity maybe. If not, I will just go for those other ones because I think something more lilac than intensely purple could be a better show it will be breaking away from the eyes that i've been using for this whole series but yeah like that that is properly lilac right and that's lila lilac although it was plum but plum could be too easily similar to scarlet that's the problem because i guess plum would be here but that's very similar to scarlet eyes so i think just to play it safe i'm gonna go for this lilac color purple doesn't come in again so i think we'll be okay i'm trying to find brows that have 
like a color that's gonna work because we've got to go orange orange so red hair now the issue i often have with red hair is i find it hard to actually get styles that do cater for redhead sims so maybe i should start with the hair and work backwards so we've got something like this kind of option or like this kind of option i feel like these guys are gonna have like more afro texture hair i feel like clem's hair would still end up with a curl to it so what I'm thinking, we could go for that like brave style, like curly hair. I think that would be pretty cute or something like this. Also very, very cute. Let me see how this looks with some skin details. Cause I think it would be cute if like um, Lila's freckles and stuff carried over. Okay, so this where we've still got like Lila's freckles. What do you guys think? Let me know. And then dress wise, we're going orange now. Okay. So we've got like this kind of energy or a little dress. Oh, okay. That's very cute. Oh my gosh. Yes, 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 yes. I think this whole vibe is very, very cute. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. She's super cute. I'm wondering if it's to give her a little doady. Nah, I want to see a little face sheen. Okay, so this is Clem. I'm actually gonna go maybe here. Okay, Clem. And then I'm working age backwards this time. Let's do Camille next. So I want to make sure that there's some hairstyles that work for these two little bubble roos Because I definitely have some cute girls ones. I think I want to go for this more like natural style initially. And then maybe as Camille gets older, we can like, I'll download some new hairs and stuff that we can give a go. Try out some more like of the protective styles. I think that's like the right term. And I'm obsessed with Go Pulls Me eyebrows at the moment. I downloaded a bunch more recently and I just really like these eyebrows. And as they get older, I will bring in some of the like skin details that the parents have just so that we like can see the parents and the children. But I don't have all the stuff for toddlers that I have for adults. So for now, I am just kind of just trying out a bunch of different skin details on them. And then once they become children, I'll be able to like actually replicate some of their parents' features a little bit more. I want to check what eyes Molly has. So Molly has G7 eyes. Okay, G7, G7. Yeah, I think I'm going to give Camille the same eyes as her mom. And then I'll give Ty the same eyes as Ty had. <laughs> that was a stupid name decision. Wow. And I'm also going to give Camille a few little freckles just because I think it's pretty cute. I don't know if Ty had them. Maybe he didn't. I'm going to put them on Camille, but not on Ty. I'm going to pop some little hair clips in. They go a little bit low on that side, but it's the only accessory that's like sitting like low enough on her head. And then I don't have to worry about a color scheme with Camille and with Ty. So I can kind of have a bit more fun and just do whatever. So for Camille, who's silly, I feel like dungarees kind of work for silly i feel like silly is getting into like a bunch of like i don't know playing in the garden in the mud but not being naughty just being silly so i think something like this little play suit is a cute idea and then i feel welly i'm getting welly bob energy from her so i'm gonna do some little gold welly bobs to match her gold clips in her hair so there is a uh, camille and then on to tyler so tyler i'm gonna go for the same eyes as Ty i actually feel like ty's eyes were here but i'm gonna go here for ty's eyes oh he's super cute Let's do some different brows on you, kiddo. Again, I'm gonna start from the hair and like work backwards. Cause I do have some, I'm kind of digging this hair to be honest. I think that was very cute. It is a lot of hair for a toddler. So I could start with something shorter, which for some reason took his eyes clean off. I think I'm gonna go on a bit of a CC hunt this weekend if I get a chance and find some new hairs. But for now, I'm gonna pop your eyes back on kiddo. I'm gonna go for these ones. Okay, so I've popped Ty's little skin details on. Again, I don't have to stick to a color scheme. So let's check out some little outfits for you. I need, you know what I need to do? I just need to go toddler CC shopping. I genuinely feel like, cause I've not downloaded stuff in so long that I just don't really have much. Oh my gosh, how cute is that with the little camo trousers? I love camo trousers. And these little shoes have little lightning bolts on. <gasps> so adorable. And I was gonna give him a Dodie, but he's independent. So I actually don't think Dodie for any of them. It does cover up a bit too much of their faces as well, which I don't love. So yeah, okay, so we've got oldest is Tyler. Oh, your eyes came off. No. Okay, I'm gonna apply their eyes as a skin detail just so that we can avoid the eyes constantly coming off because it drives me mad. So there is a little tie and then we've got 
little cum with her little clips. And then finally, we have the air, which is little clum with her very purple. Very lilac eyes. I just feel like if I do it any other way, it's too scarlet vibes. There's this or this. I think maybe for now I'll leave it here, but I think I need to because it's too pink and we do have a pink gen. So I don't want to like accidentally go pink. This one is a little bit less intense and I can add like white scleras as she gets older. I just can't do it for toddlers because it's on tattoos. So yeah, this is our next air little clum. So let me know what you guys think of them all. We will be starting next episode with a brand new air, a brand new series of our not so very because it will of course be episode one of the orange gents. If you guys are excited for that, please give this video some love. Let me know what you think of their looks in the comments below and I will see you guys in another episode. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!